morning guys hope you guys are all having a good sunday afternoon this is my first um cooking with me video um from my kitchen and in the new house um several months back someone had asked me for a recipe on how to cook the fried green tomatoes so i'm going to try to give that a go i still do not have a tripod for my phone so i'm still kind of doing it with one hand here and at the time of me making the um fried green tomatoes i'm actually like doing pork chops too so probably a little loud um, all right, so I went to the grocery store. Normally I go to the produce market, but I didn't go this last go. I just, there's a grocery store that's a few miles up the road and I was not happy with the pricing in there. It's like $2.99 a pound. That is crazy to me, but, um, I've already got them all sliced up and, um, it's a real easy recipe. I know there's a lot of people that, that I've talked to like on Facebook and they're like, oh my God, I don't like tomatoes. For me, it's kind of a southern dish. Um, we grew up eating them like when I was younger at home, and it's just one of, it's not really a staple. It's kind of, you know, every now and then you just want to cook them, and I, I end up, when I want them, I just go and buy the stuff and, you know, cook them. But basic ingredients is just your tomatoes, which, I mean, you can see they're already sliced here. Um, and I, you wash them off, of course, you want to wash them. And then I get like a cup and a half of flour. Um, I never use all-purpose flour for anything. I always get self-rising, even if I'm going to fry with it and I don't bake with it. Uh, what else? And I use one egg, and then I season everything. Everything in my house, just about, I, I cook with Cajun seasoning. It's always been that way. I don't know. It just gives the food a good flavor. Um, at Dollar Tree, I think, they have a French fry seasoning. It looks kind of like that. Um, I put some of that in there because I'm out of another seasoning that I have that I normally use all the time and it's close to that one already so um, it's kind of different but I don't know french fry seasoning I've never used it on french fries I've always used it on other stuff and it was only a dollar over there so it's almost the same consistency of the spices that I normally use whenever I you know use the flour base to fry or um, you know like especially for any kind of meat. And then in the other bowl, I have just one egg. Um, I'm waiting on my, I'm waiting on the oil to get warm. If I turn the burner on, it would probably get warm. Let me try that. So crazy. Um, let me see. Hold on, I gotta pull this pork chop out. It's really hard to do everything with one hand, and I'm sorry if it's loud. Um, in here, I wasn't really. Thinking. I think I'm just going to hold off on that for just a minute. So I'm waiting on the oil to get warm. And I'm actually going to get... Brandon, can you come and hold the phone for me? I'm going to wash my hands before I start uh, getting all in the nitty gritty. Uh, definitely whenever you're cooking with raw meats, you want to make sure that your hands are clean. So, all right. Um, I, can, I can't flip it at all. I don't think I can flip it at all. You're going to have to kind of like hover it over. It'll be okay though. I think you can do it. Okay, I'm gonna hand the phone to you. Just try not to shake it a bunch, okay? You don't even know what you're doing, do you? Mm -hmm. Just move move towards me. Just, you can look at me. <laughs> it's okay. He's he's brand new at this, guys. Brand new at this. Give me a second here. Wash and scrubby dubby the hands because we don't do the whole yucky, yucky, no hand washing um, up in this house. Give me just a second. Let me get some paper towels. Do you feel weird, son? Mm. Why do you feel weird? Hmm? We're cooking. I got you off of the couch. I got your tablet out of your hand. All right, you want to move over this way? Oil is just about hot. Oil is just about hot. You want to hover down. Let's see if we got it. You just hold it and let me see. You're a little too close. Hold on. There. There we go. That's good. Just keep it just like that. All right, so we got the tomatoes here. I got the egg here. Just one egg. I didn't put no seasoning in it. I got my flour right here. It's already done. And all you're going to do, we're going to, I always do the test with the sprinkling the flour over the oil to see if it's going to, and when it bubbles, that's when you know that the oil is hot. So you're just going to take your pieces. Let's see if we can do this. Yeah, we're doing this. All right. So we got the tomato piece. We're going to put it in the egg. You're going to take it from the egg into the flour. You got to go this way, son. Then you're going to go back into the egg one more time. You got to go this way with me. <laughs> Not trying to make you guys dizzy. 
back into the flour and then we're going to put it into the oil. And like I said, the flour is seasoned with um, three of the different seasonings. We're going to go right here to the oil. We're going to lay it in there. And these cook super, super fast. So let me flour some of these up real quick. Into the flour. Into the egg. Back into the flour. You just want to coat them real good. Okay, back over this way. And drop it in. See how fast they cook? Like, really insane fast. I probably need to turn the heat down a little bit. You can do it either way, honestly. Are we into it, Brandon? You can do it either way, honestly. You don't have to do the egg first. You could do the flour first if the tomatoes are already wet. All right. Real quick, like, let me get over here. Wash my hands. Wash my hands. These are probably going to be a little bit more brown than the normal ones are because I didn't, I'm only one person here. Okay. So over here, you want to try to come right here? You just want to flip them. That's coming a little bit closer. You're not going to drop it. A little bit closer. Okay, and then that's pretty much it. You're just going to give them, let them fry for just about like a minute, maybe a minute and a half until they're, um, you know, kind of tender on the inside. And then you just keep repeating the process until you're done with them. Uh, there's a local restaurant that's here in town, and I went in there. And I ordered some from him. I think I'm okay now, Brandon. I went in and ordered some from him. And uh, it was like 5 or $6 for one sliced tomato. I'm like, what? That's when you just go to the grocery store and you get yours and you just make them yourself. So, uh, let me see. It is really hard to do this with one hand. Really, really hard to do this. So I'm going to pull these out. I don't never put salt in the flour. It's kind of like what you do whenever you're doing um, like potatoes for all you southern moms. The potatoes, you know. Like we do fried potato sandwiches. It probably sounds really strange to a lot of people, but they're really good. Uh, so I'll season it after it comes out with a little bit of salt. Um, you don't have to have salt. You definitely want to drain them on a paper towel because there's a lot of oil that comes off of them. Sometimes I'll take another paper towel and I'll like layer it over the top of it. So, I mean, again, if you missed it, I'm not sure how good Brandon was with the, with the camera part of it, but um, it's basically just a cup and a half of flour. Um, you can season them to whatever seasoning that you want to season them to. It, there's no rhyme or reason for whatever you want to season it with. I know people that use onion salt, celery salt, all that kind of stuff too. But for me, it's just um, Cajun seasoning and black pepper, a pinch of salt, and, you know, like I said, I use this french fry seasoning that I got from Dollar Tree like a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you know, normally I'll have like a, uh, I think it's like a Caribbean seasoning that I use, but I ran out of it, so. Um, and this is what they end up looking like whenever they're done. Uh, so that's what they, that's the end result for the fried green tomatoes. So, I mean, you, they're literally gonna slice them drop them in the egg, drop them in the flour, and then drop them back into the oil. And then you've got, you've got fried green tomatoes. So I'm going to keep cooking here and, um, I hope this helps whoever asked for it. I can't even remember who it was, but, uh, I don't know. It's kind of cool. I finally got a cooking with me video back up. So I'm gonna let you guys go and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.